In this video, we'll import an STL file into SketchUp. To do this, we need to go to the Extension Warehouse and find and install the SketchUp STL plugin. This is it. Click on it and then click on Install. Once it's installed, you'll find it here, File, Export STL. But the great thing with this is that you can also import STLs. At Thingiverse.com, there are millions of STL files that you can download for free. Let's do a search for low poly, meaning files that have a low polygon count, because those import the best into SketchUp. With high polygon counts, you usually need to reduce the count in a different program, such as Mesh Mixer, because they will freeze the SketchUp program. At any rate, this looks like an interesting one. And you click Download All Files. And once you've downloaded it, you can go to File, Import. Come over here to All Supported Types, and you can see all the different file types that you can import and find STL. Then navigate to, the, to wherever your file is, select it, and first though go to Options and click Merge Coplanar Faces. Merging coplanar faces is important because if you have a lot of polygons this will help consolidate and get rid of unneeded lines. It also helps if you know what units the file is in because that will make it import to scale correctly. So I'm choosing millimeters and you may or may not want this. If you know you're going to 3D print this you might want to check this. I'm going to leave it unchecked. Now I'll click Accept and Import. It will come in at the origin and it comes in as a group. And you can click Edit Group and do some minimal edits to this. I added a base to this to make a phone stand and 3D printed it, and here it is.